mistakes that can keep you from boarding your flight. Imagine it, you're just about to start your trip, maybe it's for business, maybe it's to see some family, or maybe it's an adventure abroad. Whatever the reason, you're feeling that pang of excitement as you get to the airport. Even if it's a trip you've made before, there's always a little thrill that comes when you get there, bags in hand, right before you take off. But then as you try to check in, you're told that you won't be flying that day. Some minor mistake that you didn't catch is keeping you from boarding your flight and now you have to figure out what to do, and that usually means shelling out for another flight, especially if you didn't find out about the mistake until you're already at the airport. Here are the mistakes you should watch for and be sure you don't make, or else you won't be able to board. Misspelling or not using the name that matches your passport when you book. It might not seem like a big deal, but passenger names need to be correct. The ticket and passport must match exactly, explains Volpe. Nicknames, inverted letters, maiden name versus married name or all reasons the airline will deny boarding. According to Volpe, even customers whose names have been off by just one letter have been prevented from boarding. Volp recommends triple checking all names on tickets to ensure they are 100% correct. Trying to fly on a passport that expires within six months. A common error for a lot of flyers is to believe that they'll be allowed to fly internationally as long as their passport is valid. Actually, the rule is that passports need to be valid for at least six months after your final day of travel. So even if your passport doesn't expire for another few months, you will still won't be allowed to get on the plane. TSA will reject you in security, says Volp. TSA will reject you in security. Not checking the visa requirements of your destination. Every country has its own visa requirements. Many don't require Americans to have one for stays up to 90 days, but others do. So it can be easy to get confused and think you just need your passport when you should have applied for a visa well before you've left. Due to the fact that visa requirements vary from country to country and passengers often book connecting flights in other nations to get to their destinations, some people have even been turned around by authorities halfway through their trip for not having the correct visa. So whenever you're flying internationally, be sure to look up all the countries you're visiting, even for layovers, on the State Department's website. You'll be able to find out exactly what visas you need and then check with the consulate of those countries on how to get them. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment down.